So, in the new national curriculum, uh, it states that for computer science, we need to be able to do lists, tables, arrays, and uh, use procedures or functions. Now, I've already shown you how to do some procedures and functions. Now, if I go onto my code uh, for an existing app, what you can do is you can make a list of names, uh, for example, just to show you how this works. So, if I go to add a new action, I can go to v for variable and if I go right the way down here okay I can go to a string collection and I'm going to call it name array so I'm going to store a list of names in this uh, and if I go back to this what I can do at the end of my app is go data name array and assignment create a collection, you can see there it says create a collection and create my string collection so that will store those in the name array Now what I can do each time is go data name array add and I can add a new name so for example Raymond add that in data name array add Jennifer Helps if I spell that right. Add data name array. Add. I'm going to go to this time it's going to be Emma. And then last one, data name array. Add. We're going to go to Kelly. Now what that's got is is added those four in there. And what I can do is. Remember the scoreboard we set up in in tutorial five or six. So if you go down to data scoreboard, you can set the text. And if I remove that, I can actually go to data and use the name array and p pick a position. So watch, I can say at. So zero is Raymond, one is Jennifer, two is Emma, and three is Kelly. So What's this? If I put in 2, it should show Emma. There we go, Emma. If I go to uh, 0, so let's change this number to 0, it will be Raymond. But what you can also do with these lists is you can actually sort them. So, say for example, uh, let me remove this line again actually. I'm going to go to name data name array and you can either count them but you can also sort them so watch I can sort it and now at position 0 it will be someone different watch what happens so it's just compiling it and sorting it and Emma is first this time because it sorted it in alphabetical order so there's a lot you can do with these. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'll show you what you can do with some numbers. Um, let's see if you can get an array going. Uh, you could also, for example, if you wanted to have maybe random uh, messages pop up, you could change this zero and you could create a random number. So have a play around and try out a list.